and we are looking ahead to some fine flapjack consumption. But this isn't your ordinary flapjack. One of the most respected chefs in the country joins us this morning, Chef Mark McEwen. Welcome. It's good to be here, Jill. Thank uh, you. Yes, we love having you. This is an innovative take on pancakes. You won't believe what's on the inside. Uh, what are we making this morning? Well, this is this is great for stampede coming up. This is a special weekend dish. So we do caramelized pears. We have Johnsonville sausage, which is their brown sugar and honey version. Mm. We take it out of the casings. We fry it, caramelize it with pears, and then we stuff pancakes with it. You're taking the Calgary tradition to the next <laughs> level. We well, appreciate you taking. This is how well, you all, do. They're all very, that. very familiar food items and, and and lovely items that combine well together. Okay. And this sort of elevates the pancake. So when you want to do that Sunday, that Sunday or that Saturday brunch item, this will this will drive the kids crazy. This sounds to me like you need four hours to get this done. No, it's actually very very simple. Okay. So we start out by just dicing our pear in butter, caramelize it, add our sugar to that. Yes. And then we finish that with with a little bit of vinegar, which gives it a bit of an edge. All right. Then we fry off our sausage on the side, drop the fat off, combine the two together, and what we land up with is a filling of pear. And uh, brown sugar honey sausage. Oh my goodness! Now, now Johnsonville's, Johnsonville's been making sausage for 75 years. This is a standard product you can buy, which is exceptionally good and easy to work with. So I use it as a standard all the time, mm -hmm. uh, evenly spiced. So what we do: pancakes are on, a little bit of oil on the, on the griddle. You're just going to place a bit of that in the middle and press it down. Okay. And it gives you that, that savory, unctuous center. So a little bit of sweet, a little bit of savory. And then we put our batter over top of that. Just oh, I see what's happening. Okay, I thought the flapjacks were going to flip together. No. Not the case. No. Okay, gonna... now talk a little bit about this flavor pairing, the sausage with the pear. What makes that a good combo? Well, I, I think sausage and pear is a classic. You know, you, you have brown sugar, you have honey, you have pear, you have cinnamon. Uh, it's just richness and sweetness together. Yep. And then you have cream and cinnamon and vanilla on top of that. Yeah. So it, it's like that incredibly luxurious pancake you have on the weekend for brunch. Right. And all the flavors just work, and they're all familiar. Crowd pleaser. Very much a crowd pleaser. Okay, so we're going to let that... Uh... So these just have to stabilize a little bit, and then we're sure. going to flip them over. There you go. That is a, a thing of beauty that is happening right now. Um, now, we're big fans of you on Top Chef. I was speaking to you off camera about this. I, I feel like you're the toughest judge. Well, they, they edit me to really be the, the stone cold killer, which, which <laughs> everybody You thinks. appear to be. <laughs> I just did Taste of Toronto, and I had so many people come up to me and say, You're the toughest judge. Yeah. And I said, I'm, re I'm, re I'm really not. I don't like criticizing that much. Right. Uh, but someone has to win, and someone has to go home, unfortunately, yeah. Yeah. and that's, that's the job they gave me. Do you derive. Any inspiration from these up and coming chefs? Oh, without a doubt. Yeah. So you, you take homegrown Connie D'Souza. Uh, we love Calgary her. Calgary loves Connie. Yeah. Uh, Connie's career has blossomed since then. She's managed herself so well and uh, she's built another restaurant in Calgary. Yeah, and Charbar. You, you, you see her all over social media, so she's become this big personality. So Top Chef has brought a lot of careers up to the forefront. Mm. Uh, Connie being one. Uh, Many in Toronto, the same. So yeah. they, they have their own restaurants now, which is really spectacular. Yeah, cool. Okay, let's get to uh, the whipped cream here, and okay. we'll keep an eye on these pancakes. So this, that, that stuffing is really easy to make. You can make it early, mm -hmm. uh, so you can have that done, have your batter ready to go. And then this, your whipped cream is just cinnamon, sugar, vanilla. Yeah. And all you're going to do, just very, very simple, just a very even dollop. We're going to garnish with fruit. Yeah, you wouldn't want to go overboard on the whipped cream. But we sell more pancakes on the weekends, especially at one in Yorkville, my restaurant in Toronto. Is that right? Just a tremendous, tremendous number. Now, you, of course, are at the forefront of the culinary scene in Toronto. What are your opinions of the Calgary scene coming here to visit? Uh, we, are, we are headed out tonight to Pigeon Hole. Nice. Uh, we're going to go see Connie at Char Bar for lunch. Mm -hmm. So I think you have a great food scene. I think we have an amazing food scene from, from end to end in this country, whether you're in Montreal or you're in Halifax or you're in Toronto, yeah. uh, Vancouver. It's just amazing. What's happened in the last decade is exceptional. Totally. And I mean, it shows like, like the one you're on, like Top Chef, that, um, you know, allow people to have this education and this appreciation for food. Exactly. So there, there you have a standard, a standard brunch item, familiar items, the pear, the... Uh, the uh, honey, the honey uh, brown sugar sausage, 
Works so well, easy to prepare. Again, you just caramelize your pears, yes. fry your sausage, mix the two together, stuff your pancakes, whipped cream, cinnamon, Away you go. This is a great way to ring in Stampede with a little twist. Isn't it? Yes. Okay, we're going to be primed for Stampede. Thank you so much, Chef, for joining us Thank this you. morning. And enjoy your dining in Calgary. Andrew Schultz, there's one set of utensils. I know. That's the way it goes, <laughs> right? Just one. You